Hi, this is William again. In this video, I'm going to show how to test the LetterBrain modules. Before we started, um, let's review what we have done in the last videos. In my last video, I have used the different types of um, LetterBrain slot testers with LEDs indicators to test the LetterBrain slot connectors to make sure LetterBrain connectors are working. Um, two LetterBrain slot tester I have used. The DDR3 LetterBrain slot tester and also the DDR2 LetterBrain slot testers. So besides testing the LetterBrain slots on the machines, we will test the LetterBrain, we will take further steps to test the LetterBrain in this video now. You can see there are three types of LetterBrain on the market. The DDR1, DDR2, and DDR3 LetterBrain modules on the market. Uh, in this video, we will test these three different types of RAMs on on the desktop computers. And of course, we need some kind of equipment to help us installing this LetterBrain on the desktop PCs. To start with, let's uh, learn something on these three types of RAM first. Okay, um, the one here, uh, actually three, three RAM module here all have labels and mostly we can find labels on the RAM modules. Um, this is DDR1 PC2700, um, DDR1 Letter RAM. And this is DDR2 Letter RAM. And this is let uh, let up DDR3 RAMs with 1,333 uh, bus speed. Okay, and all three different types of RAMs pretty much uh, similar to one another, but there are one major difference we can see is the pins layout. We can see the DDR3 pin layouts, it is the pin breaker are located at the middle, close to the middle of the RAM module itself. So this is very easy to make a difference. Um, make a difference between DDR1 and 2s without these RAM labels, then we need to be very careful because DDR1 and DDR2 RAMs pin layouts all located near to the left side of the RAM modules. And they also looks like similar to one uh, to each other but if we take a closer look and do the comparisons these two pins actually are not located at the same spot we can see we can see from the pin breaker here it looks like about one or two pins different uh, from each others so we will never install the ddr1 ram module onto the ddr2 uh, RAM slots or the other way around. Okay, so in order to, for us to test this RAM, this laptop RAMs on the desktop computers, we need some kind of equipment here. And now we have the laptop to desktop PC RAM converter card. Since we have three different types of RAMs, we need three different types of uh, converter cards. Let's try the first one here. It is the DDR1 card. Okay, for example, if we grab the wrong memory module, okay, let, let's say the DDR2, and we have the DDR1 converter card, RAM converter card, okay. The pin breaker here on the DDR2. Oh, let's see. Okay, no, this is DDR2. Haha. <laughs> okay, I almost make the same mistake. Okay, DDR. This is DDR2 RAM pins breaker, and this is also a breaker on the RAM module. Oh, sorry, on the RAM slot. Okay, before we pushing the RAM into the RAM slot. Okay, first we need to 
just roughly place the RAM on top of the socket and see if we can feel like if they are matching each ma matching the pin breakers perfectly and this time it feels like there's some kind of resistance on the RAM breaker here so this is not a we will never try to push the RAM into the RAM slot with excessive force okay we'll go to pick up the other one the other similar one no matter it just in the case the label is it's not there okay and we will see if this one is easier to match the pin breakers yeah okay and we can find out the pin breaker here they match each other perfectly and we believe this is the right one the next we will do is placing our fingers on top of the RAM module on both sides and then push the RAM slightly into the RAM slot then we will need to see the RAM horizontally into the bracket this will help secure the RAM and make sure it is in position correctly all right now we have DDR1 desktop RAM to be test on the desktop PC computers DDR1 RAM slot and next we will do the same thing to install the DDR2 and DDR3 RAM modules okay same thing we need to place the RAM on top of the slot and see if that matching the pin breakers easily and yes this time is much easier there's no resistance on the pin breakers here so we press on top at the same time not one side and then push the other side we need to push on the same time okay then make sure the RAM uh, sit horizontally into the bracket okay and here we go and this is DDR3 RAM and then push on the top at the same time then lock the RAM here we go Okay, now we have all three different types of RAM to be tested on the desktop computers and we have DDR1 laptop RAM module on DDR1 desktop PC RAM slot okay we can test the laptop DDR2 RAM module on the desktop PC DDR2 RAM slot and then the laptop DDR3 RAM on laptop, uh, on PC DDR3 RAM starts okay and all the all these three types of um, laptop RAM modules are the most common RAMs on the market and this is the I believe the, the easiest and the lowest cost method to test the laptop RAM modules and hope this video helps with the laptop memory RAM system testing if there's any questions or comments welcome to send me email or add me to my skype and i would like to chat more with you and hope this video helps as well thanks for watching my name is william again from pctestcars.com and pctestcars.co.uk um, welcome to visit my websites and chat more of them have a good day bye now